one day. They are digging for atomic energy, these men and machines at a uranium mine known as Rum Jungle in North Australia. The shovels can take seven tons at a mouthful. Watch your head, Fred. I know how you feel, boy. At the treatment plant, the ore goes through a secret process which converts it into the finished product. And these are the first pictures of uranium oxide, looking like toothpaste before being dried into a harmless looking powder, the source of unlimited power. We are now living in the International Geophysical Year, and the launching of the first Earth satellite will certainly be a red letter day on the calendar. This animated diagram shows the sequence of the three-stage rocket breaking up. It increases speed all the time till it ejects the satellite into its orbit 300 miles up. It starts work at once, transmitting data to tracking stations spaced out around the globe. This one's in Australia. Information received from the satellite will be sent on to headquarters in Washington. The satellite, which will circle the Earth once every 90 minutes, must surely be one of the most exciting features of the International Geophysical Year. An Australian contribution to the 62-nation programme concerns the visual study of the distant stars. This giant telescope brings outer space into the scientists' backyard. It's photographing a star cluster 20,000 times 9 million miles away. Incredible, isn't it? They are fighting for the German middle.